You'll notice I've got a calendar um, here, calendar um, value here of the year, and I've got total sales, and I've got, well, I've got a space for prior sales, but I don't see anything that says prior sales. So let me show you what I've got going on here by looking at my data. So, if I look here at my data model, and this is, of course, um, Power BI Desktop. I love how it says not responding. Thanks, guys. All right, and I've got a simple model here, and I have a date table. Now, you'll notice that there's nothing up here that, like you have in Excel, that says that I can mark as date table. Nothing that I can do that with. And if I look at my data here for my date table, I'll show you that. I've got a date key, and this is my date key. Notice it's a number. It's not a date, um, and that's you know how my data looks like, so that's what I've got to work with. So, But there, I don't have any way, again, of marking anything as a date. So when I do a calculation, for those of you familiar with that, you know that you need to have a date table that you mark as date. So I've got in... Um, in my um, fact table here for internet sales, I've got a calculation for prior sales, and that uses the DAX function of same period last year. And to have same period last year, you have to have marked it as a date table for it to work, and that's true if you are in Power BI or if you are in Excel. You, if you do not have uh, that marked as date table, it won't work. Well, what I did to make this work, and I won't bore you with that part of it, was I, I actually took this model and I created it in Excel and read it in straight. So when I do that, if I you know and bring it in and I have the exact same model here, notice I've got my prior sales working. And if we look at my data model, It's the exact same model. The only difference is, trust me, we'll show up here in a minute, is that I read it in from Excel rather than creating it in Power BI. And that way, when I do that, and I go into Fact Internet Sales, and I have my same prior sales here, and I'm using the same period last year, if I go look, that's what makes it work. Um, if you want the step-by-step instructions for um, how to import data into Power BI from Excel, I've got it on my um, website. It's um, Desert Isle SQL, but if you are trying to do a, um, date, a date, DAX date calculation, you'll need to do it from Excel and not in Power BI. And oh, by the way, they are planning on fixing this soon, so they told me last week. But until then, Man, it's, it's it's great to just you know write a write a blog post and suddenly uh, Microsoft is in contact with you, is telling you they're going to make some changes. So that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to send you all my bug my bug issues from now on. So thank you, thank you for that, Ginger.